Joining me now in studio is Richard Gage, AIA. He is the founder and CEO of Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth. Thank you so much for joining us in studio. It's great to have you here. You are on an uh, eight-day, eight-city uh, tour of the great Southwest, screening your new film, Firefighters, Architects, Engineers, Expose 9-11 Myths. It's pretty exciting, yeah. Lan. This is uh, an unbelievable piece of work that Eric Lawyer, the founder of Arch uh, Firefighters for 9-11 Truth, and I put together a few years ago, and we finally got this edited. This is new information. We expose 20 different myths that people are uh, imagining in their minds about 9-11 and that the government has put out and uh, NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology. They uh, have completely missed the boat. They have produced a fraudulent report, and Eric Lawyer uh, former firefighter with Seattle uh, Fire Department, he, he tears them apart one by one. And then I also provide the information that um, just pulls the rug out from underneath the official story, proves the evidence for explosive controlled demolition in all three of these high-rise that came down on 9-11, of course, including Building 7. Right which was excluded from the official 9-11 commission report there. Cause you know, it came down in the exact same way, but it probably doesn't mean anything. So <laughs> exactly. I mean, I feel like that's exciting that there are now experts continuing to come out. A lot of groups, um, obviously I spoke with Rudy Dent, the 9-11 uh, firefighter uh, last year who said that he waited such, such a long time to speak out because of course, a lot of them are afraid losing their pensions and things like that. I feel like that has sort of passed. Now people mm -hmm. are ready for some truth in this, uh, specifically with the science. Now you're, you've actually just released a, a new booklet. It's called Beyond Misinformation, What Science Says About the Destruction of the World Trade Center uh, Buildings 1, 2, and 7. Tell me a little bit about what pe this new information, what can people find? Yeah, this is a 50 page booklet where we've condensed all of our best evidence in 50 pages and we've now, distributed this to 40,000 people already in just a month. And it, it's it's wow. uh, going like hotcakes. We, we we let it go almost at cost, a couple of bucks. Uh, it, is, it is amazing. Uh, what we've done is take on uh, not just the myths, but the fraud of NIST. For instance, uh, they, they uh, try to say that Building 7 came down by normal office fires uh, due to thermal expansion. Well, these office fires were out over an hour before this building came down. Office fires have never brought down a skyscraper ever in the history of uh, much larger, longer lasting and, uh, right. and hotter fires. So we, we take them on one by one in, in this booklet. And it's a very, it's a quality booklet. Now, people should be getting a dozen of these and yeah, handing see, them out really to their architects and engineers. And beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Uh, we're very proud of it. Um, and it's effective. It'll stay on people's uh, desks instead of like brochures where people might toss mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this is our best effort yet uh, to, to reach academic professionals. We've sent 20,000 of them to architects and engineers. Uh, we expect it to, to go the distance, and, and uh, it, it is full of, uh, of, of the best information. For instance, the free fall of Building 7 uh, into its own footprint on the afternoon of 9-11 in under seven seconds. Uh, this, this can't be denied, uh, and uh, we're, we're blown away by, by the... The, the number of structural engineers, for instance, that say that they've, they've, they didn't even know about this building, right. the third worst structural failure in modern history. Right, and you would think that they would want to know what happened there so they could avoid that mistake, or why hasn't anyone come after, you know, tried to sue any of the engineers there with the structural uh, deficiencies there in the building. So there's obviously some, some issues there with that. Um, now, what I'm really interested in before you started this eight city tour, uh, you were doing some educational outreach at the Structural Engineering Summit. There was like more than a thousand structural engineers in attendance. You had a booth set up there uh, for some education on this. What happened? Tell me about that. <laughs> it's pretty exciting because uh, just like you see on the screen, uh, we've got Building 7 uh, going down at uh, free fall acceleration and we show the structural engineers uh, did you know a third tower came down on 9-11 at our booth? And uh, it stops them in their tracks. It's really exciting because they go, no, what, what, what are you talking about? They go, yeah, well, look at it. Tell me, is this building coming down by fire or controlled demolition? And they look at it and they think, well, that's obviously controlled demolition. 90% of them say this. 
And then we go, then we have a conversation because we go, well, hey, this happened on 9-11. This was the third tower to come down. This is the third worst structural failure in modern history. And you and I didn't know about this. Why aren't we being told? Why haven't the structural engineering codes changed? And we ended up signing a, a, a quarter of the people we talked to. <coughs> Excuse me. We, we talk, we, we've got 25 new structural engineers on the site, signed up, calling for a new investigation, joining 2,350 structural, en uh, structural engineers, architects, and many other technical building professionals. Wow, that's, that's pretty exciting. So obviously people are still learning, still waking up, still expanding their minds with this. Uh, this situation obviously is not going away, uh, you know, regardless of how, how much they try to bury this. What do you think it is with the cognitive dissonance there? How can people just accept this? Oh, well, they said it's science. And, and you're thinking, well, no, thousands of professionals are saying that's never happened before or since. It'll yeah. never happen again. Yeah. Well, th we were put into a state of shock on 9-11. And this is true as much for structural engineers as others uh, we found out. Some of them will just say, oh, yeah, fire could bring down that building. Uh, free fall, no problem. They'll, th they'll actually bypass their neocortex because not one of those 82 columns gave any resistance which means it could, they could only have been removed, which can only be done explosively, for which there's uh, forensic evidence found by officials for thermite cutter charges. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all it can be, this molten iron produced by thermite, 2,800 degrees required to melt iron. The fires are only a quarter of that temperature in this building. So uh, they go straight to their limbic system, the reptile brain, and, and to whatever they have to comes out of their mouth is reinforcing uh, their worldview. And that's the way we work psychologically sometimes and, and until we kind of something shakes us. Like nine years ago for me, my whole worldview just turned upside down hearing this information from David Ray Griffin. It's cognitive dissonance and it takes years for some of us to get out of it. Right. And, and uh, Matt Drudge was here and he talked about the sickness of the American people and so sick to the point that they would elect Hillary's brain in a jar and set it on the Oval there in the Oval Office and let her run the country, just her brain in a jar. And that's how I feel sometimes thinking about this. People are just still being fed, spoon fed all of this BS with this story. And you can look at the, the old videos that are there and the old newscasts that they only aired one time. And it, with the internet, it's not going to go away. All you've got to do is just do a simple internet search and say, Pentagon plane 9-11. And Where's the plane? And so there's just this, you know, I just, I don't know what it is with people. So I really am super appreciative of the fact that you have just taken this on as your mission uh, to get this information out there. So this is uh, Austin here. This is, I guess, what, your sixth day of the Southwest tour. Where else you're going? What else is next for you? Pretty exciting. We're, we're jumping straight into, uh, after Austin, we go to Houston and, uh, will be screening the, the film, uh, Firefighters, Architects, Engineers, uh, Expose 9-11 Myths. And, and that, then we go to Denver. And uh, if we're, we're fortunate, we're going to fly to Washington, D.C. and film uh, a public television talk show with a famous talk show host uh, there in D.C. On, the, on PBS. Very exciting opportunity for us. And then we start over in New England. Uh, we're, we're, Tony Zamboni, structure, uh, structural engineer, he's actually a mechanical engineer who does mostly structural work. He and I will be teaching a group of a couple of hundred civil engineers at the New Jersey Institute of, New Jersey Institute of Technology in Newark. Uh, this is uh, the first time we've actually had civil engineers, many of which are structural, uh, that we'll be showing Building 7-2. We'll wow. be showing how it comes down as fast as a bowling ball uh, off the side of the tower with no resistance from those columns, uh, we'll be asking them to think, can fire do this? Fire is an organic process, moves through the building every 20 minutes or so, and this building is fireproof, fully wow. fireproof. It couldn't even get hot enough <laughs> to sag or fail in any respect. Uh, so th everybody knows once they start looking at the evidence, like these civil engineers are going to do in New Jersey, and uh, hopefully we'll get most of them uh, signed up onto our petition as well. Uh, but then we take this film... Uh, to 10 cities in New England, uh, Woodstock, New York, uh, Southampton, uh, Portsmouth, Maine, well, Hanover. We'll be at Dartsmouth College. 
That's going to be no, so no. exciting. You're actually having to teach a class to teach people how to think about this reality. Uh, well, Richard Gage, thank you so much for being <laughs> in studio. Exciting. Thanks, Leanne. Find out more, ae911truth.org and beyondmisinformation.org.